Hello YouTube viewers, my name is Larry, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to kind of walk you through uh, my rainwater catch system setup. Uh, I'm currently still putting my gutters up, I don't have my end caps. They had some mistakes when they made the rain gutters, they're custom made by a metal company. Uh, so you see some pliers up there where I'm working on it now. But anyhow, we got the gutters put up and now we're going to move on to the, the first uh, stage of the water collection and uh, kind of explain to you where we're going with this project. Stay tuned. I actually picked up two of these tanks from a guy. They're really chemical tank, chemical tanks. However, uh, they was used at a baseball park. They stored water in them. So I don't think I'll have any problems using those. Hopefully they'll, they'll do the task we need them to do. Sorry about the finger there. They're actually 1,500 gallons a piece. I've got two of them. I'm gonna be putting them inside my warehouse and I'll show you a picture of that here shortly. Uh, to keep them out of the cold and hopefully we won't have any problem with water freezing up but uh, time will tell we're we're kind of getting into the winter right now my theory is to take this uh i guess it's 275 gallon paint tote that i cleaned out thoroughly and i set it on some blocks and uh i've got the downspout running into it I only have one downspout currently attached to it right now. And we're fixing to get some real serious rain in the next couple of days. So we're going to see how long it takes for one downspout to actually fill that 275 gallon tote up. I've still got some downspouts to put up and rig those up to where they're going to the tank uh, or the first collection tank that I'm using. I'm not sure why they gave me so many downspouts. but. Yeah, that's what we got. They didn't charge me for them. They just charged me for the gutters. Uh, it was actually a mistake when they made them. They made them one inch too too deep. But I was able to make them work, and I'll show you what happened. And it'll, it'll probably work in my, to my benefit. It's got more of a V in the bottom of them, so the water will trench to that, that V area like, like a funnel, I guess you could say. And it'll put more water directly into the, to the downspouts. I am actually catching rain on one side of the barn dominium right now which is i believe it's 2,000 square foot uh, the gutters run the full length of the building and uh i've got it kind of semi blocked off on that end and then on this end i've got it blocked off about half half the distance from the bottom to the top so that'll allow for some of the if we get a real major flood it'll allow for some of that water to escape and not put too much weight in the gutters. Oh, and my cat's got to get into the picture, old Millie. We rescued her here about six months ago. She's a wild one, but she's really, really good around the house here. We got five shelter dogs, and they get treated better than I do sometimes. I think she uh, thinks she's a trap. What do you call them? Artist? Uh, not the artist, but the trapeze people. She likes crawling and jumping and getting into everything she can get into well let's get let's keep going with the video i got distracted a little bit i've actually made my own first flush diverter system now it's kind of similar to what you see out there all over the internet however the filter that's in the bottom i took and that'll be another video i don't want to share that information quite yet but uh and we've seen it work a little bit we're going to give it some more time to see how it really dozen long you know maybe six or seven different rainfalls but it is catching some stuff and um, i'll make a video on showing you what i did to actually make that first flush diverter and how i did it okay back to the tank there's a 275 gallon tank running four inch pipe we do have a screen right over the top of it so we keep any trash and bugs from getting into into that that runs back. I bought one of these leaf gutter, leaf diverters, or whatever you want to call it. Leaf, I actually forget the name of it, but I'm not real happy with it. And it may be because of the way I've got it set up. I don't have this all the way up against the house yet. I bent that myself or made that myself, and it's not setting flush with the back of the, the building or the outside of the building. And then I made my bends up there and I kind of got off a little bit, but uh, I'm going to remake those where it sets flush with the back of the building inside this area here and that in return should put this further back and allow 
water to hit higher up here in this area and then maybe it'll wash some of those leaves out because I notice now every now and then I'm getting some leaf hanging up right in this area it's not flushing out of there so it may be the way I have it installed but I am going to try some different things and moving it back and see if it'll help wash the leaves out the bottom of it uh, I'm not happy with the way it is I'm probably going to build my own here just to experiment and see what I can come up with I did kind of deter the water towards the back of the screen uh, but I've noticed that last rain there was water coming out real heavy out of both sides here and the leaves didn't get washed out and you have to clean them out by hand but again it runs up and goes to the rain gutter and uh, like I said we're fixing to get us some pretty serious rain according to weather forecasters and everything else so we're gonna see how it works now we've actually collected what we'll show you here in a minute inside that bottom valve is a line running inside to a pump. Now let me get you in and show you what I'm doing with it. All right, we're inside the building now. I've got a warehouse attached to the Barnuminium. And uh, there is the other tank. We already got it hooked up. And we've got it sitting inside. You've got to excuse the mess around here because I've got junk scattered everywhere. Else, but that's kind of normal for me. I'm, I'm a Fred Sanford of a different color, I guess you could say. And there is the tank. And we actually have... It just barely fits in the building. We've got about a foot clearance here. Now if you look down here, there's the water coming out of the tank. And it runs behind that channel, that big beam. goes behind there. It's going to be kind of hard to get you a good shot of that. Comes around there. Runs up. Runs into the pump. Now I've got a Wayne SWS 50 pump that I bought at a garage sale for 20 bucks, and hoping there wouldn't be no issues with it. So far, there's not. It, it pumps water like crazy. Now, how I get the water inside is I bought one of these little pumps off of eBay. When that paint tote gets full of water out there, or when it's filling up, I just turn that pump. I want to let it pump it all inside up to you see the line coming in put a filter there as well goes into the tank there there's my other dog she got to get in a video and it fills the tank up as you see there we've got a little over 500 gallons in it now now I'm going to rig up a float switch I just got them in today I'm gonna to put them in the top of the tank up there so that this pump will automatically go come on and cut off when necessary According to the tank outside and the tank inside, I actually bought several float switches. So we're going to make that where it's automatic and have power to it at all the time. All the time. Now what I did run into was a problem today because I just hooked this up. Was this little pump's got the switch on the side of it. And I can actually turn this thing on and it will pump like it's supposed to and it will actually run up to about 40 pounds and it'll like st start cycling like crazy so I'm gonna have to move that pressure switch I believe hey not right now not right now and um, put it somewhere further down in the line now if you've got some suggestions out there on YouTube let me know um, that's the only problem I have now I can power it up as you see there's a water hose there tied into that line right there runs down and right now when I turn the pump on all it does I've got it recirculating back into the tank at the top up there so I just want to test the pump out make sure it works pump does pump does work and I just need to figure out a way to keep it from cycling on and off so much and I believe that's going to be with the location of the pressure switch itself according to what I've seen on on YouTube and everywhere else but uh, guys that's that's where I'm at with this this little project we also have the water line plumbed in from the rainwater system through that blue line and that goes of course to another section over here I'll show you. Alright, right, we're over here where we have another filter system set up going into our home. Now what I've done is I have came off the line to the left hand side is actually the water coming in from the municipality. And uh, I, I brought another line in, I dropped this one in on the right, this comes from a rainwater system. 
So what I can do is if I want to run rainwater, I'll open this valve and I'll shut this one off. So I'll have the best of two worlds there. I'll have Jockey City water or municipality water, which we're out in the country, but it is municipality water. And then if I don't want to run the city water, I'll turn this valve off, open the rainwater up, and run it. Now I run it into a filter, triple filter, then it comes out of the filter, runs through a gauge, which right now that is my city water pressure, which is quite a bit. And then it runs through a regulator, comes out, and it goes into the hot water, uh, hot water heater and then goes back into the house on the cold water side. So we're trying to make this multi-use, uh, being able to run rainwater when we have a chance as much as possible because our water bill just went through the roof here the last couple of months out here where we're at. Well guys, that's probably going to conclude this video. Uh, it's not a professional video by any means. I'm just an old 60 something year old old fart out here in the country doing the best we can with what we have and trying to make things work. We're not really a prepper, but you can say some of the stuff we're going through is prepping. Uh, I just don't uh, feel safe drinking the water that we have. We buy mostly bottled water. I'm not saying the rainwater will take care of all the issues, but it sure got to be better than what we, what we are currently getting in the lines in this home. So if any of this information was helpful, we ask that you hit the like and subscribe button and drop us some comments below. Tell us what you had changed. Maybe you can offer some suggestions on what, why this pressure switch keeps triggering on and off, on and off, on and off on that bladder tank as well. Uh, again, I think it's the location, but I hope we help you in one fashion, form, fashion, or any other way. Again, we ask you hit the like, subscribe button. Stay tuned. I'll put another video together once we get this thing actually up and 100% running condition. And let you know what we found out and how we progress with it. Definitely be shooting you some more videos. Stay tuned for future ones. Thanks for watching.